everyone, Artie Tamborembo, also known as Tammy Klinger, here with you again today. Thanks so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today I am creating again with the new release and we're creating this fun um, Picasso inspired girl. Um, so I'll go into that a bit more but I'll just show you what I'm using. So I'm using a perfect size journal um, with a smooth paper. I'm also using a stamp set called Exclusive treasure textures sorry and then also the brand new star one which is called stamp it um i'm also used some of the collage papers from both the black and white and the colored and then i grabbed i end up not using these <laughs> but i originally thought i would work with sort of greens blues and purples um, but i think i just kind of end up using uh, a bit of my favorite colors so a bit of happy which is yellow pink which is ballet, uh, mermaid, which is blue, and I think the punk, which is the purple. So, yeah, and also that washi tape, that new black and white scalloped washi tape. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just basically grab a page out of my um, perfect size journal, and then I grab this black and white sheet with the faces on it. I just love this, um, this, this look, this sort of look looks a bit like Picasso inspired and funky faces and so I grabbed the large one and I cut it out and I'm just kind of thinking yep yeah, I'll just plonk that straight onto my background so I'm just using some gel medium and I just adhere that to both the bottom and the top of the um, face just to um, seal it so I have got quite a few lumps and bumps which you can see you kind of it doesn't really matter by the end um, but yeah, I should have smoothed that out a bit better. So I've grabbed this paper, which is from the paper pack in a couple of releases ago. And I've grabbed that sheet of paper with sort of some kind of random shapes on it. And I thought that they looked a bit like, um, big groovy hanging earrings. So I cut one of those out to use, yeah, as earrings. And now I'm just adding to her face. So she's got her eyes closed. And just, I looked at that new star stamp and just popped into my head was stars in her eyes. So I've stamped a star onto each closed eyelid. And then using that same stamp set, so I'm using um, all of the stamp, uh, sorry, all of the individual stars. Plus there's a couple of scribbly bits with little stars in it as well. So I'm just sort of creating a background on, in the top right corner um, on the edge of her face. Because I know that I want to bring her her face out and add some hair and stuff as well so I just kept it to that top right corner so now I'm grabbing the colored collage sheet and there's a gorgeous floral in there and I thought well these all look gorgeous in her hair um, so I'm just cutting a few out and some of them I'm cutting off the edge so they've sort of got that flat edge and that's okay because I kind of want it to look like it's coming out from her head so yeah, so now I actually fiddle around a fair bit with this part and I haven't moved the sheet of paper up quite high enough so you can't really see what I'm doing, which is really not very helpful. But basically I've sort of drawn a neck in and a little bit of shoulders. Uh, now I've moved it up. And I think, oh, those scallops will look cute as a little neck, you know, like a little collar. So that's what I did. I cut them down and fiddled around with those there. And then I decide to use them also as kind of her hair. So they're going to be peeking out from behind the flowers. So I just kind of keep cutting out a few flowers and cutting out some of that washi tape and just sort of trial and error, poking and fitting things in and moving things around. So I'll just kind of let you watch this bit and um, I'll go a bit quiet.
So you can see that I've um, stuck all that down using gel medium and I have used, cut a few leaves out of that same paper that I got the earring from and just poked that around too. So now I'm coming in with the exclusive textures stamp and I'm just kind of creating a little bit more clustering into the background. So um, I will add a few of the smaller little stamps. There's kind of a couple of little florals in there. And I just stamp with archival ink around sort of the edge of the hairline and in amongst the flowers just to sort of tie it all in a bit. Um, and I also just trimmed off the edge of the face. So um, yeah, where it was that overhanging, I have just trimmed that. And now I'm just drawing in um, the neck and the edge of the lips and the bit of the face that was missing and the shoulders um, and then I'm attaching that earring to her her head um, just by going around it with a black um, paint pen so then I just go over a little bit of the um, details that are in there so I draw a few sort of neaten up some of the edges from the um, washi tape that I've stuck down and just neaten up some of the the little edges that I've placed around the place. Now adding a few more bits of stamping in there. So this is just a slightly different little stamp. And then I use, um, there's a couple of stamps in there that are, I guess they're mark making, but I've liked how they created a little bit of shadow. So I've used a bit on her neck for shadowing and then I'm coming in around those star eyes that I've popped in and adding a few more little stamps, um, just some smaller um, stamps from the new stamp it set, just using only the little tiny stars. And then uh, what else have I done? I've added um, sort of a barcode stamp to her center of her earring and I'm going to draw that out. You'll see I'll come in with a black pen and continue that line work on. And then I've also um, coloured in her lip, oh sorry, stamped in her lip the word love. And I guess, I think I said to you before, I was thinking about, she has stars in her eyes and I was thinking, and love on her lips. So I add that quote, um, which I've just made up basically, but added that into the, um, the girl after I do all the background. And so I thought stamping a love on her lips was, was very apt. So now I've come in and I was, as I said, I was originally going to go blues, greens and purples, but once I'd done it, I kind of decided, no, I needed to stick with my usual colours, <laughs> my bright colours that I like to use. So I've put a bit of happy down first um, and then I've come in with a bit of ballet, which is the pink, I'm kind of blending them together. I'm using the same brush. I'm not washing it out or anything. I'm just coming straight in and letting the colours blend a little bit as I go so I'm just adding some mermaid and I'm just adding a bit to the yellow gives it a little bit of a green tinge and I'm adding some mark making in as well just using my brush and I think I actually I really wish I'd moved my page up so you could see what I was doing at the bottom there but I add a, that barcode stamp also to her dress her top and just continue those lines through so you'll probably see it at the end more when I come into the close-ups. So I'm also coming in with a little bit of azure here, which is the deeper teal, and just adding a little bit more mark making with my brush, just to give it a bit more depth of color. And now I start adding some color to the face. Now um, I go with the red lips and I go with the pink cheeks, and I kind of wish I'd left it here. I actually really like the black and white face. And I think also because she's a bit uh, whimsical you could make her face a totally different color like go with you know purple or aqua or something like that but I kind of stuck to a skin color tone so I mix sand and I think it's blush together um, but as I've said I kind of wish I hadn't done that I like her um, I really like the contrast of the black and white so if you want to replicate this at home perhaps you could play around with that a little and experiment a little bit so I just use a little bit of the punk um, just to add a little bit of shadowing to her face. And then I just come in and add final bits of mark making. And I grab the Smurf, which is that gorgeous blue, and just add little highlights and bits to the flowers just to sort of give them a little bit more oomph. 
So this is when I continue the line work that I stamped the barcode into the earring and I'm just drawing that out and I do the same in her top. And hopefully you'll be able to see that <laughs> in the close-ups. And as always, I add a little bit of punk, which is a translucent purple, so it sits really nicely on top and it just adds a bit more vibrancy to little patches in your background, making little pops of magical colour. So as I did my stamping and then stamp painted over the top, I've lost sort of that, um, what's the word, the vividness of the stamping and the black. So I'm just, I don't worry about the scribbles in the background because I'm happy for them to be pushed back. But for the things that are a little bit more of a focal point, like the stars, I do want to bring them forward and pop them a little bit. So I'm just going over them with a black pen and filling in some of the, the details. And I do a little bit of scribbles around her neck and her earrings and I always think when you're doing um, sort of whimsical stuff that a couple of lines that look a little bit scribbly are better than just just one. It's quite forgiving and yeah you can make a few little errors and nobody knows it's a good way of covering up as well. So then with a white pen I'm just adding some highlights to some of those little stamped flowers I did and I think this part really lifts up um, her hair and then I do the same I think to some of the stars I just pop a little bit of white into them and now I'm just adding the quote so I'm just writing it and I'm sorry I am doing it off camera <laughs> um, so I do it up the side of her nose and across into her eye um, and just said she has what did I say she has um, stars in her eyes and love on her lips and I repeat it down her shoulder blade as well so it says the, the exact same on both of them then I decide to give the stars a little bit of color because you know why not and that's basically it a few little scribbles and then I'm done so I'll let you have a look at the close-ups and hopefully I've got a good one good shot of her neck so that you can just kind of see what I did with her Mm, there's a little bit <laughs> with her scalloped shirt and things like that so anyway that's it from me today thanks so much for stopping by and I will be back again soon with another play as always I love hearing from you I love knowing who stopped by and had a look thanks bye